hi guys this is a new tutorial series that i'm going to start today uh, this is a new uh, unity game development video tutorial series previously i have started a uh, uh, unity game development uh, video series and in in that i have showed you how to create a, a game like fluffy bird but unfortunately i couldn't complete the series so uh, hopefully i'm going to complete this one so this one also i'm going to start from the scratch uh, I may have done some mistakes in the uh, previous uh, series so this time I'm not going to make uh, those mistakes so this time uh, it will be a complete one and yeah I hope uh, you guys will join with me throughout the whole series in this series also I'm going to create the same game I'm going to ch uh, make some modifications alright so first I'm going to create a new unity project so let's create a new project and i'm going to choose 2d mobile and my project i would say flappy b let's say flappy b and the project location i would choose key here and okay organization connect to unity cloud uh, use unity control version okay i will keep the settings as it is for right uh, i mean right now uh then i will create the project all right uh what is this we'll worry about that later all right first uh let me try to see the platform i will go to build settings and in here you can see the platforms i mean these are the platforms currently i have installed so I can make games for these platforms so currently the game is in Windows I'm going to change it to Android um, okay switch alright uh, I have just changed the platform and let's close okay let's try to run this once okay I'm getting to compile error. let me see mm okay you know what I will try to restart the unity let's see hopefully this time we may not be getting any errors all right okay uh, in editor I have uh, a package com.tunitron mobile okay scenes mm, all right okay I have one scene that I have uh, that I'm getting when I create the project all right so I will let's say I will rename this to uh, let's say uh, uh, main like this all right um, so first thing I have to do I need some of resources to start the game uh, because I don't have any resources so in order to create some resources I will be jump into the illustrator to do some illustrations all right I have opened my illustrator application uh, I will create a new file uh, okay so the thing is I can keep the file inside my project uh, so to do that I will go back to the unity and I will create a new folder in the assets folder I will create a new one let's say uh, resources right so I have created the folder but before I'm going to put my illustrator file inside the folder um, I'm going to secure my project because last time I did that mistake because of that I couldn't uh, re retrieve my project back because I lost my project I haven't secured the project last time so this time I'm going to secure it what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this project in a remote repository uh, in a git in github um, so let me show you how to do that first you have to go to the github.com um, if you don't have an account in github you won't be able to see a view like this um, so once you create an account in github it's really a pretty straightforward thing once you created an account with github then you will be able to come to your console so it should like this and I think you you may not be able to see any of the projects uh, so you can start a new repository a repository is like a f uh, you can think it like a folder where you can put 
any of your artifacts or any of your files or folders in one folder so it will be secured in that folder and you can retrieve that folder anytime so whenever you lost your project from your local machine still you have a way to there is a way to uh, get that project from uh, github all right so i will create a new project uh, let's say flappy b and i will put this as my description and i'm going to make this a private one so any of the other uh, members or any of the other people can't access my uh, repository and i'm going to um, add a readme file and i'm going to add a git igno file called unity then uh, i will create the repository all right so in this file uh, has mentioned what are the files that should be in the remote d uh, repository or what are the files that should be ignored for an example all the library uh, is going to be ignored because the library file is going to be built when you build the application so you don't have to keep it all the time you don't have to secure it because uh, it's it's kind of a generated type of file set okay so those kind of files uh, is going to be ignored by the git igno file okay now i'm going to open the terminal because i need the terminal to run my git commands because i want to run git commands in order to put my project in the github repository okay so uh, in order to work with git hub you have to install git into your computer there are plenty of tutorials you can find on youtube even i have put couple of videos regarding the github so you can refer one of those tutorials and see how you can integrate git into your local computer after that if you type git you will be able to see a list of commands like this all right uh, first i have to go to the location where my project is so i will say document project unity flappy bird all right so i'm in my f uh, project folder there is only one thing uh, you have to do with the github side again so i will go back to the github side and i'm going to download this uh, git igno file now so to do that i can click this download raw file all right now i will get that from the download folder and rename that it came as a txt file but i'm going to rename it as dot gtigno so the uh, extension will be gtigno like this and i'm going to copy this file and i'm going to open uh, my project folder like this so this is my project and i'm going to put this kitting no file into here somewhere mm. here all right so um i will tell you in a minute why i did this so first i'm going to make this a git repository to do that i will say git init once i hit that command you can see a dot git folder has been created inside my uh project folder so all the instructions regarding the git now uh, is included in this folder um, all right then I'm going to uh, select all my files that I should put in the re remote repository all right so I'm going to select the files so to select the files I'm going to say git at dot before I enter this command, I will tell you the reason why I put this git igno file. So the git igno file will be responsible f uh, for the choosing all the choosing what are the files that should be in the remote repository, like I said before. So if I'm not if I haven't put this file uh, in my project repository, then this command will put all the files in my project uh, into the remote repository. Okay, so there can be thousands of files in this folder so all the thousand files will be include uh, will be going into the remote repository if i haven't uh, put this file in my um, 
project folder so that's why i have put it it like this all right now i'm going to say git add and i can say git status so in the git status i can see what are the files that has been chosen to move into the remote repository so there are like uh, 50 files i think so the, the this list can be uh, very long if i haven't put this file in this uh, uh, folder all right now i'm going to clear this one and let's say git commit so the commit will prepare all the files that is about to go into the remote repository all right first i have select then i'm going to prepare all the files by using the commit command and there should be a message so that message we can see in the github repository uh, whenever a set of file came to the re remote repository we should be able to see a reason why why uh, this set of files how has came to the re uh, remote repository okay so that's the reason we have to put a message like this all right now all the file has been uh, prepared to be committed now the next thing we have to do is uh, to register our remote repository with our local uh, repository because it's still uh, my local repository doesn't know about my remote repository okay so i have to make a connection in between remote and local repositories so to do that i will head over to the um, my git remote repository once again and i can uh, go to the code and in here is still I can see two only two files uh, from here I can go to the HTTPS and I'm going to copy this URL so this is our uh, git URL to our repository uh, and then I will say git space remote space add origin space the path that I have just copied to my remote repository okay press enter and uh, maybe first time you will be asked um, about your credentials to your git account so in that case you can uh, provide your username and password to your account so after that uh, you will be able to see an output like this all right now i have made the connection in between uh, remote and the local repositories now i can literally push my local project into the remote repository by uh, saying git push all right it says the current branch main has no upstream branches um, to push current branch to set the remote upstream use git push set upstream origin main okay i will use the same command as they are saying all right i will clear this let's say like this all right um it says fail to push some refs to uh, this location main main fetch um okay it says something like this um in between my local repository and the remote repository there are some um conflicts in between those two file uh, structures right i have found a quick solution to this uh, i can force push into uh, to the remote repository so to do that git push i can put uh, the tag f to make this a force uh, force and i would say origin space main let me see all right now the files i started to upload okay it's already been uploaded now it is fine i guess and let me head over to the github once again all right uh, let me refresh the github repository okay now you can see i have a couple of files instead of git igno and readme file well i can't see the readme file i mean i think it's been replaced or it's been deleted uh, it, it, it's fine I mean uh, the readme file didn't have anything use, uh, useful all right uh, now I have my assets I have my packages let me open my assets 
in the assets I can see scenes so I have my main unity and the meta file now my project is secured successfully in a remote repository so whenever I lost my project from my local machine I don't have to be worried because I can uh, always uh, use this remote repository to retrieve my project back even though if you want to collaborate uh, with anyone uh, to join uh, to uh, I mean uh, if you want to make a collaboration uh, if you want to work together with a team on a, on, on a single project this is the best way to do that so yeah uh, my project is secured now okay I think uh, I'm going to stop this tutorial from uh, this at this point in the next tutorial I will start to create my illustrator file and uh, we can start the development from there if you have any questions you can ask uh, from the comment section until then goodbye